guys. I'm gonna grab my my daily monster. I like to uh, stock up sometimes here at home because I like having it right away in the car and not having to wait till I get to the campus. Definitely having withdrawals. I have not rode in like two weeks because it's been too damn hot here in Temecula. It's been like in the hundreds. I'm lucky enough not to be forced to ride to get around. I got a car. My rule with riding is 90 and below. 90 is the hottest. Even at 90, it's like, it's not, it's not fun. You're sitting at lights just sweating. Project home improvement, gym improvement just went down. Small little tweak. I was contemplating getting a incline bench, but just due to space and just keeping it not cluttered here at the campus, I decided not to get an incline bench because what I did was I unbolted this incline or adjustable bench so we can move it over here in the squat rack. So the, the, the gym improvement was pulling up the, they were bolted down. I had to pull out the bolts. What I did was hammer them into the cement, break the cement a little bit, and then we uh, kind of hammered it out also, shook it out. So originally I wanted all these benches bolted down. So there's order in the gym. Because if we have guests, you know, people that, that just come through and just move them around, it would just be out of place. And it would look out of order. Decided we need an incline bench. The option, so these two are bolted down. These two are still bolted down, so those are always gonna be there. These kind of move around. Sweating, lost about 20 ounces of water in here. Just hammering. So we're gonna hit this push workout. We're probably gonna start off with bench and then do some incline bench. I'm excited. I'm excited. Super See where I'm at incline bench. I want at least two plates. Dang. I haven't touched <laughs> incline bench in so long. How about you, Sal? Singer. At least at least two plates? <laughs> at least, at least, at least. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh Warhead's watermelon. This is my favorite by far after trying everything. Black cherry is pretty good, but it's just not my cup of tea. And then well, we still have the blue Raz. Maybe we'll do this. Last scoop game. That's, that's crafty. That's MacGyverish. You guys might be too young for MacGyver. Do you know MacGyver? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sal does. Yes, MacGyver. MacGyver. He's smart as well. It was a TV show back in the day where this this white dude. He was super oh, smart. Yeah. He was like super like like no, techie. No. Yeah. Like he would he would be in a situation where he's gonna die, but then he would build some type of like device get to get out of the situation. Oh, shit. Yeah, so yeah. like for a while, or people from my like my like my generation say like I'm gonna MacGyver it, you know, like mm -hmm. be crafty okay. with it. That's that's a MacGyver. Okay. What up guys? Haven't done a video over a video in a while. I thought I would change it up and talk you guys through this workout. This was our push power or strength day. Heavier reps, heavier rep schemes, heavier load. That was the goal. It was uh, me, Sal, and Roger, and then Alex jumped in a little bit later. So it was, uh, it was a fun workout. The goal was three sets, three or four sets of five with 295. I haven't done, I haven't repped 295 over like three reps in a while, so it was gonna it was it was gonna challenge me. So this first set I got five, but the the fifth rep was a total grinder, right there. I should have backed down the weight right there, but I was stubborn. I pushed it a little bit. So here's second set, two ninety five. Did I get Thug Life? Wait for it. So what, what I'm thinking right here is my hand set up, my wrist. I really focus on getting a nice, nice grip. There's a certain spot in my hand that I like to place a bar and it helps me keep my wrist nice and neutral. 
And this, this took some time to be able to do, especially without wrist wraps. I haven't been using wrist wraps for the past like at least six months and I feel like my grip strength, my wrists have, have got a lot stronger and I don't rely on the wrist wraps. So you saw I stopped at four, smart move, Sal was waiting to thug life me, it wasn't going to happen. And here I back down the weight to 285 and I was shooting for at least five. Rest time for, for these sets, was, it was about four to five minutes. Took a good amount of rest. All right, so we moved on to incline bench, which I was really, really excited to, to, to hit. I was, I was curious to see where my strength was. And it surprisingly, it, it was up there. It was up there probably about the same when I was hitting incline bench consistently. Here's a here's 225 where I was just kind of testing testing my strength. The first couple reps kind of shocked me. The, the the range of motion, the stretch to my upper chest was it was it was something something foreign. But after the first set, my my chest started warming up to it. Mobility started getting better. So I added a 10 on each side, which made it 245, and it felt good. Goal was five five reps on on each set, and even with the increase to 245, I was still able to hit the five reps, which I was I was happy with. So over the weeks, my goal is to slowly increase the weight on the incline bench. We're probably going to hit it every push workout on our strength days and our hyper days. Hyper days just being more more volume, more higher rep range. With this movement, I've always liked to focus on the eccentric, the negative, slowing it down, controlling it. And I think a lot of that focus has led to more, more efficient, more consistent strength gains. There's the last set. Decided to drop it down to 225 and kind of do an AMRAP. I think I got eight. You guys can count again. One thing I need to fix is my, my, my freaking legs flopping around. I don't use leg drive on any of my benching, um, any pressing. And I've just found that when I do try to incorporate leg drive, it's just, it feels off. It's not, it's not, it's, it doesn't feel good for me. I'm not as explosive. I'm not as strong. But I, I shouldn't be getting loose like that. That's that loose where my legs are moving around. Uh, next, next movement was the lateral raise. This is kind of just a staple movement, guys. I love doing them, especially for reps. And at this point, I chose to not do any more heavy pressing because the the bench and the incline was enough. So I dropped the the rep range a little bit for the dumbbell, the lateral raises. You see, I'm hum uh, one tip that I have for you guys is for the lateral raise, come forward a little bit, hunch over a little bit, and then drive with your elbows. Right, your elbows should come up before your wrists, your hands. And I feel like when I, I'm hunched over a little bit, a little slight bend, it's, it's easier to engage the delts. We also hit some rear delts. We did the rear, rear cable fly. I really wasn't counting here. I think it was like 12 to 15 reps. We did like four sets. Usually when it gets gets to this fluff work, the accessory work, I don't really count. I kind of just chase the pain. I have a, a, a very like general idea where my weight is each time and I kind of just I, I don't I don't track these lifts because I don't think they're as important as the compound movements but I'm still focused on progressive overload I'm still trying to increase the weight increase the, the reps on these movements and then we ended the workout with, uh, we did two tricep movements. We did just the, the, the rope um, extension and then we did overhead rope extension, which I've been liking a lot. 
due to the, the, the nice stretch that you get at the top. So with, with, with the tricep extension, you always you want to control it. You don't want any swinging. You don't want to be utilizing any momentum. You want to feel it in your tricep and nowhere else. So here's the overhead tricep extension that I was talking about. Nice stretch. I pause at with the stretch and then I go and squeeze and hold it. And that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this this style video and if you did hit the thumbs up and I'll be sure to do a lot more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You go, I go. You stay, I stay. One song, you sing.